he pays. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 20 new campaigns to share with you today, as well as the D&D is a Woman campaign on my mini factory. It has finally launched and is already super successful. As promised, there are adventurers of all class and race, with 33 in the base set and most of the extras in the stretch goals already unlocked. There are some extras from other artists as well, which I'll show you in the future. Watch for a special episode where I cover the whole set. For now, these are about half of the base set. Thank you so much to The Printing Goes Ever On for creating the D&D as a Woman campaign and for supporting the channel. They have graciously shared their Brightwood army of elves with my supporters over on Patreon. Look for links to all of that in the description. 10mm Polish Lithuanian Musketeers Metal Cast Minis by Warmonger Miniatures of the United States Their 13th Kickstarter campaign This set includes 10 different strips and each unit includes a command strip and 14 randomly selected from the other 9. You can get 2, 4, or 8 units. This campaign ends on June 19th with rewards expected in July. Fantasy Adventurers Resin Cast Minis by Black Scorpion Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes six adventurers, one of them with options, plus one corpse if you get the whole set. You can get between one and six minis. This campaign ends on June 21st, with rewards expected in September. Worshippers of the Black Cross Printable minis by Necronomicon Armies of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a small army including a Marshal, Dreadnought, Infantry, and Half-Track. You can get just the Marshal, just the Dreadnought, or the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 24th, with rewards expected in June. Suenos, The Art of Gary Villarreal Resin cast statues and busts by Reina Roja of Spain, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 10 exquisitely modeled fantasy figures. There are a lot of tiers to choose from, but you can get one or more models. This campaign ends on June 25th, with rewards expected in January. Air Force Collection, printable minis by Klaus of the United States, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes four different aircraft from the US Air Force. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous content. This campaign ends on June 26th, with rewards expected in July. The Age of Napoleon Printable Minis and Buildings by Models for 3D Printing of the United States, their 10th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a few soldiers and Napoleon, as well as a whole bunch of period buildings with untextured interiors. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 28th, with rewards expected in August. Scorn of the Scorpion, printable minis by Neil Billings of New Zealand, their 16th Kickstarter campaign. The set includes two large and two small scorpions, as well as six piles of eggs. One tier for the whole set, this campaign ends on June 29th, with rewards expected in July. Fantasy Scenery, printable terrain by Silo Models of Spain their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a variety of scatter terrain and building bits like tombstones, crates, bookshelves, doors, and more. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 29th, with rewards expected in July. Modular Magnetic Sci-Fi Miniatures Printable and resin cast minis by Labmasu of Italy, their 17th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 5 modular minis with lots of interchangeable parts. 
you can get the whole set digitally or physically, and there's also a retailer's tier. This campaign ends on June 30th, with rewards expected by September. Eternal Pilgrims, printable and pre-printed bits by Grey Tide Studio of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of more than 400 bits to spruce up your space marines. Heads, shoulder pads, backpacks, swords, plasma pistols, and flamers. Physically, you can get one of four sets, and digitally, you can get 100 pieces or the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and even some custom bits. This campaign ends on June 3rd, with rewards expected by September. Pirates of the South Printable and pre-printed minis by Piccio Fanatico of Italy, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes seven characters and four squads of pirates. Digitally, you can get a half set, the whole set, or a commercial license, and there are several physical tiers to choose from. This campaign ends on July 3rd, with rewards expected by November. Adventurers of Aeneath, printable and resin cast statues by Durgan Paintforge of Italy, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes eight different statues of the dwarves and elves of Aeneath. You can get some or all of them physically, as well as previous content, and digitally you can get the whole set. This campaign ends on July 3rd, with rewards expected in September or March. Roman Villas and Outpost, printable buildings by STL World of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of four large buildings with detailed interiors. You can get just the first or the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 4th, with rewards expected the same month. Modular Walkway and Titan Maintenance Bay. Printable scenery by Andy of Denmark, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets, the Maintenance Bay and the set of walkways. You can get either set individually or both together. This campaign ends on July 5th, with rewards expected the same month. Giant V2. Printable minis by Cedric Snowmodel of France, their 8th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes giants plus a bust and a couple bits of scatter terrain. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 5th, with rewards expected in September. Art Container Transport Printable vehicles by Arctanus Games of the United Kingdom, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This is a container transport truck, along with a container from a previous campaign. You can get just the truck or the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 7th, with rewards expected in August. Crystallum, Conflict in the Far Future. Printable or pre-printed war game by Lee Gaddies of the United States, their eighth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two full 15mm sci-fi armies for their Crystallum war game. There are lots of tiers, but digitally and physically you can get them individually, some of them, or all of them. This campaign ends on July 7th, with rewards expected in November or March. Gothic Tower, printable terrain by Danny Armengal of Spain, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is a modular tower with a detailed interior. You can get the basic set or the whole tower, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 8th, with rewards expected the same month. Fantasy Forest, printable buildings by Fantasy Designs of Canada. 
their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes six different fantasy forest houses with detailed interiors. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 9th, with rewards expected the same month. Dungeon Lab Printable terrain tiles by MG Picks of Italy, their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes dozens of floor, wall, and door tiles, with more in the stretch goals. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 10th, with rewards expected the same month. That's all for now. Huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon. Your support is what makes this channel possible. Check back soon for another Patreon preview. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and thanks for watching.